Hi again, everybody. Carl Ravitch here with you from our Baseball Tonight studios as we get you set for American League Championship Series action here on ESPN. On tap, it's the New York Yankees taking on the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox. Return home from games one and two with a win in their pocket, which I think is about as good as they could have asked for. Now they go about trying to win the next few games here at home. Time for baseball, Beantown variety. To call the action, we join our broadcast team of John Miller and Rex Hudler at Fenway. Fellas? Okay, Carl. ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, welcomes you to one of baseball's true landmarks, Fenway Park here in Boston. And we're all set to bring you yet another edition of Major League Baseball action, Fenway style. Game three of the league championship series is just a few moments away. Tonight, it's the New York Yankees taking on the Boston Red Sox. Welcome, everyone. This is John Miller with my colleague and longtime major leaguer, Rex Hudler. Now, before we get the game started, Rex, uh, what are the keys for the Red Sox in this one? Well, I don't know that you could find a bigger rivalry in baseball other than the Yankees-Red Sox. I mean, these teams have been in so many of the great baseball games in history. This is one that could go either way, and it'll probably get pretty interesting, too. Okay, Hud, we'll see if you're right. Now, the umpire is ready to go. He shouts, play ball. It's time for baseball. We're glad to have you with us here on ESPN. Lofton takes a call strike one. Well, he'll stay out of trouble if he can spot that heater there. You're an easy out, Lofton. He started to go around on that one, but it's in there. Quickly, it's 0-2. And he takes a splitter in there. Strike three call. One away. Well, he gives him the old good morning, good afternoon, and good night. That was too easy. A splitter runs inside, 1 and 0. Your commercial stink, Jeter! He holds up, but it's a called strike to even the count at 1 1. Good live fastball that time. The 1 1 pitch on the way. And he takes one at the knees, and it's 1 and 2. Hard slider misses two and two. And he sends this one in the air towards center. And that falls for a base hit. Well, that's usually a pretty good pitch. Got him chasing that time, but he was able to get it into center field, and he's aboard. Alex Rodriguez. One out runner at first. A Rod looks at one that misses for a ball. One and O. Oh. Gets the call at the knees, and that evens up the count at one one. And as a pitcher, that's where you want that thing to be. You didn't deserve it, A Rod. That swung on and hit well. Deep center field. Damon. Is going to have room, though, and he puts it away for the out. Hmm. That's about as well as you can hit the ball without having it go out. And that'll bring the always dangerous slugger, Jason Giambi, to the plate. And he has to dive back. Something may be up here. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Misses 1 and 1. Tried to sneak one by him on the digits, but he just missed. The 1 and 1 pitch. Tried to hit one out into the parking lot there, but he missed it. 1 and 2. 1 2 pitch is a high, hard one that misses. 2 and 2. And that'll keep him from diving out over the plate at least. 
Hit hard into the hole. And that's into right field for a base hit. And they'll need to be awfully careful now with Gary Sheffield coming up to bat. There's a swing and a ground ball. In time for the out. No runs on a couple of hits and two men left. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one in a scoreless ball game. Johnny Damon will settle in now to lead off the home half of the first inning. Fastball runs inside. 1 0. The 1 0 pitch is a fastball in there. 1 and 1. Ooh, and you could hear the pop in the glove all the way up here. Swung on and popped way up there to shallow right. Cairo drifts over and makes the catch one away. Well, he's trying to put a charge in this one, but he winds up popping it up to the second baseman. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Low one inside for a ball, one and one. Again, excellent tailing movement, but that's easy to lay off of. Yeah, your official game caps right here. The one one oh, pitch two. is a fastball high, two and one. Two one pitch is a slider swung on and missed, two and two. And this is bearing in on him, and he swings right through it. He's ready. Here's the two two pitch. Oh, he started to go around, but they say no swing, and it's a full count. And it's in there, base hit. Well, they tried to run this one in on his hands, but he stays right on this thing and shoots the ball to center field for a base hit. First pitch on the way. Garcia Parra is at the plate now and he takes ball one. He's running towards Take second. One. And he Go. is out on a good throw. The 1 1 pitch on the way. Swings and skies this one in the air to center. Matsui is there, and that'll do it for this half of the inning. Well, this is not the left fielder's ball. He's got to back off and let the other guy take this one. Luckily, he's able to put it away, but that could have been dangerous. No runs on one hit, and nobody left on. We'll go to the top of the second, and we have no score. This is swung on and hit on the ground. Winnegar is right there, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Matsui is ready to get his first look at him right here. Matsui. First pitch is a fastball in there for a strike. Good live fastball that time. That's low and outside, one and one. Good right downward two. action to the splitter, one and two. I thought you were going to be good, Matsui. Swing and a line drive, and that out. is in time for the out.
Now the switch hitting Jorge Posada will come up. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. Well, let's see now if they come back there or go away. Has a big rip at it, but now he's in the hole 0-2. Curveball ties him in knock as he swings and misses strike three. The side is retired. Nothing doing here this half inning. Now we'll move on to the bottom of the second in a scoreless ball game. Ramirez will dig in now to start the home half of the second. First pitch to him. Took something off and it swung on and missed. Strike one. Strike two at the knees. Nothing in two. Swing at a ground ball to short. Jeter is there to play it on the hop. And his throw is in time for out number one. Ortiz will get his first play defense in this one now. He kicks and delivers. Now a sharply hit ball towards second. In time for the out. Winnegar is ready to get his first look now. Breaking ball swung out and missed. It's 0-1. Good hard slider swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Trying to get on top of one, but he missed it. And he misses low off the outside corner. 1 and 2. The slider swung on and missed. He struck him out, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this happening. We'll go to the top of any number three, and it's still nothing, nothing. Cairo will get things third. going here in the third. Miguel Cairo. Ball one. And a slider down and away might be the single toughest pitch to hit. Now the 1 0 pitch. Misses Ball outside. Ball two. There's a swing and a high fly ball to center field. Reese is there and makes the catch for out number one. Well, this ball just goes right up the chute, and the second baseman has no trouble putting it away. Out. Kenny Lofton. Splitter swung on and missed. 0-1. That looks like a splitter that misses. One ball, one strike. Lays off, and it's two and one. And they set him up looking in. Let's see if they come back away. The two-one pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. And this pitch is in there for a called third strike. Jeter will be the batter. Base hit his last time up. Fastball swung and missed 0 and 1. Buzzed him up and in. He couldn't get a piece of it. Popped up. In the infield, Schilling gets there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Well, they go down quietly. Now we'll go to the bottom of the third 
Still no score. Nixon will stand in to lead off here in the last half of the third. Swings and misses at the good change. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch is a fastball for a called strike. And he's going to have to reach to get that thing. Got him. One away. Reese is ready to get his first crack at it right here. Fastball in there. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch is a curve swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Started to go around with it, but it's called strike three. Two down. Well, he makes quick work of him here. Three pitches. See ya. Veritek will step in now to take his first hacks of the game. The pitch. Off the plate and low. One ball, no strikes. And they set up out there hoping to get him to reach. Hit in the air to center field. And that one falls in there, base hit. Well, this is a much easier pitch to hit when you can see it breaking towards you. And he just reaches out and gets this. First pitch, here it comes. Damon is at the plate now, and he takes ball one. Man, a big hack at that one, but now it's one and one. Low one went inside that time. Two balls and a strike. And two and one's a good hit and run count. He's at the belt. Now the two one pitch. On the ground to short. Jeter is there. Throws to first, and the side is retired. No runs on a hit and one man left out. We're through three innings now and we are scoreless. A Rod will be starting things off here in the fourth. Alex Rodriguez. First pitch on the way. Big swing and a miss. Strike one. The 0 1 pitch is a fastball inside to even the count at 1 and 1. There's a swing and a ground ball. Garcia Parra has got it. And he throws on to first for the out, one away. Giambi will come up. He singled his last time. This one swung on and fouled away. There's a swing and a ground ball. Reese has got it. Throws to first and he's retired for out number two. Sheffield will step in. Ground out victim is last time. And that misses for a ball. Here's the 1 0 delivery. Down and away for ball two. Let's see if he tries to lock him up now with a fastball in on his hands. Splitter misses outside and he's behind 3 0. And Take that misses as well, and it's a four-pitch walk. 
Well, they decided not to come in on him that time, and they wind up losing him. Williams to a bat here. He grounded out his last time. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Reese dives. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time for the final out. What a play. The Yankees are held in check here in their half of the inning. Now we move on to the bottom of the fourth in a scoreless ball game. First pitch to him. This one swung on and hit on a line. A Rod is there and he puts it away for out number one. This ball's not hit particularly hard, so this is a pretty easy play over there at third. No more Slider too far inside, and that'll back him up a bit. Missed again, ball two. Ball two. The 2 and 0 pitch on the way. Now a ball lined softly to the left side. So he's on with one out. Let's see if they can do something with him. Ramirez will step in. Bounced out his last time. There he goes towards second. And he is out on a good throw. Strike two. Two outs and nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Slider swung out and missed. He struck him out, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs, one hit, and nobody left. Through four at Fenway Park in a scoreless ball game. Leading off the top of the fifth inning, Hideki Matsui. There's a sharp curveball, too low, ball one. Oh, tried to get him fishing, but the bottom fell out of that one. The 1 0 pitch, Strike a one. fastball, swung on it, missed. One and one. Good downward action Strike on that two. one, and it's one and two. Fastball swung on and missed. He struck him out. One away. Well, he's got him two strikes, and he comes right back in with a fastball. This is in the low 90s, and it's effective. Brother, let me tell you. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. The 0 1 pitch, a fastball swung on and missed 0 and 2. Oh, he's got this baby time, but he just misses it. And this is hit way up there. It'll stay on in the infield. Schilling is there, and he has it for out number two. Well, as an infielder, you're taught that the pitcher shouldn't call any pop up in the infield, but he takes this one anyway. And here's a fly ball to straightaway left. Ramiro is there now, and he puts it away to retire the side. Well, he swings under this one, and the result is an easy out. They go down quickly and quietly here. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and our score is nothing-nothing.
Ortiz will be leading it off here in the last half of the fifth. Check this swing, but it's in there. All on one. Yeah, good hard fastball. Let's see if he comes back with another one. And that's down and in to even up the count at one. The 1-1 one -one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed. One and two. Well, they go away that time, and this thing's by him in a flash. Change up two. misses. Two and two. This one swung on and hit down the line and right. Sheffield drifts over and makes the catch one away. Well, he covers a lot of ground out there, and he's able to range to his left and pull this one in near the line. Winnegar looks at a first pitch that misses. 1 0. He'll mix things up out there. The 1 0 pitch on the way. That misses ball below the knees for ball two. Might have had him fooled there, but it stayed down. Backdoor okay. curveball misses, and he's behind 3 0. And he takes ball four. So it's a four pitch walk here. He's trying to pick up that low inside corner, but he just misses ball four. Nixon will be the batter. He struck out swinging his last time. Big cut at that one, but he missed it. One strike. He's not cheating himself in that swing, but he missed another one. It's all in two now. Well, they set up down and in, and he's right on target as he blows it by him. Here's a swing and a fly ball. And gone! A home run! And this one comes down near the famous Pesky Pole here at Fenway, named after the light hitting Johnny Pesky that played for the Sox in the 40s and 50s. This ball doesn't have a whole lot behind it, but luckily it's only 302 down that line out there. Reese will step in a strikeout victim his last time. He kicks and delivers. And he lays off the pitch outside and low for ball one. One oh pitch is a change up in there. One and one. He had him fooled there. Swing and a miss on a fastball and it's one and two. There's a swing and a little fly ball back behind second. Jeter on the run, and he gets to it for the out. Oh, and these chap you as a player. You say to yourself, why are you swinging like that? The pitch. Varitek looks at the first pitch, and it misses. One and oh. Hmm, couldn't get him to chase. 1 0 pitch is a cutter swung on and missed. 1 and 1. Mini pizzas, sausage, pepperoni. Now here's a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Oh. Vasquez with a barehanded pickup in time for the out. The Red Sox pick up a couple here to break the tie. We've played five full. The Red Sox lead it two to nothing. I'm John Miller with Rex Hutler, your ESPN telecasters. Lofton is at the plate now, and he watches ball one.
Looks like he's trying to hit the big fly there, but he missed it. One ball, one strike. Tough location. Now the one-one pitch. There's a swing and a high fly ball hit deep to right center. And it's gone. A home run. Well, they call that bullpen area Williamsburg here at Fenway Park. It's an area that used to be in play when the late Ted Williams first arrived in Boston. But management decided that with his left-handed swing, they'd better shorten that porch a little bit. First pitch, here it comes. Jeter is at the plate, and he swings and misses. Strike one. There's a towering fly ball hit to deep left center, and it is gone. A home run. Well, you don't necessarily have to hit it that far to get it over the big wall here at Fenway and left. You just have to hit it high. And this thing winds up in those new seats they put up there last year. Heads up out there. A Rod will be the batter. Grounded out his last time. Rodriguez. That timeout is called, and we're going to have a visit to the mound. Fastball in there for a called strike. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Big swing and a miss on a fastball, and he struck him out. One away. Now batting, Jason Giambi. One out, nobody on. You're a whipper, Giambi. A splitter runs inside. One and zero. Two balls, no strikes. Good location, bearing down and in. That one gave me fits. I hated that one. The 2 0 pitch, here it comes. He takes a fastball for a strike, two and one. And if the strike zone were a dartboard, that'd be a triple 20. And they say he held up in time there, and it's three and one. And that misses ball four, so he works his way aboard. 3 0. Oh, they're not going to give him anything here, so he's on on four pitches. And that misses one ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. A towering fly ball to deep center field. Damon is there, and he puts it away. Two down. Well, when you have to range straight back, this could be a tough play for a center fielder to make. This one holds up long enough for him to get there easily. Bernie Williams. Nice road lemonade. First pitch on the way. Now here's a swing and a ground ball. Into right field, a base hit. Reese has it. Matsui will come up now. He struck out swinging his last time. Up and in for ball one. And that thing's a blur up there. He's at the belt. The 1 0 pitch. The 1 0 pitch is a splitter swung on and missed. 1 and 1. Swing and a miss on the split, and it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing, and the ball lines softly towards the hole. Winnegar is there, and that'll do it for this half of the inning. The New York Yankees get the long ball working as they club two solo homers this half of the inning. Now we'll go to the last of the six, tied 2-2. And a fastball is inside. One and oh.
And he looks at a fastball in there. One ball, one strike. And he had that look that he thought it was inside. And he swings and hits this one foul. Oh. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a liner to right center. And that one falls in there. Well, there's a fine how do you do to start off the inning. Left one out over the plate that time and serves up a two bagger. Fastball in there for a called strike. The 0-1 pitch is a slider in for a called strike. Well, he's going to need to protect the outer half of the zone here. Hit hard, back to the box. And that's in the center field for a base hit. And he will score. Well, and just like that, they've got to run home. Two straight hits to start the inning, and they've already pushed one across. Garcia Parra will step in now. Base hit his last time. Out. Now timeout is called, and they're going to talk things over on the mound. They set up away, and the cutter misses. One ball, no strikes. Now here's one hit softly up the middle. Well, and you can see he's starting to wear down there a bit. That's three straight hits he surrendered. Ramirez will be the batter. He struck out swinging his last time. First pitch to him, and he holds off on one low and inside. One ball, no strikes. One old pitch is a slider swung on and missed. One and one. There's a swing and a ground ball. The second for one. On to first. Truth as they can't get the back end. Well, he tried to get the 1 6 3 started, but they can only muster the one out at second. Quantro will come in and pick. And this guy, Quantro, he's got to have a few extra arms hanging in that closet. 80 or more appearances, three straight years, including 89 last year. Wow, he's got a rubber arm. And an ERA of 1.75? Go ahead and dig yourself. Popped him up. Jeter is there, and he makes the catch for out number two. Weak. Winnegar will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch is a sinker in there. It's 0 and 1. Sinker runs way inside and almost gets him. Now the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. He won't bite at that change. 2 and 2. Nice eye. Struck him out. And he gets out of it with just limited damage. The Red Sox scratch across a run on three hits with a couple of men left on. On to the seventh inning we go. The Red Sox on top. Starting the top three to two. Jorge Bosada. That's all. Put long at all. Get your hot dog. Posada is at the plate here, and he looks at ball one. Oh, on the outside corner. Pick that. Now the 1 0 pitch. Long on the inside for a ball. 2 0. And he's up over the 75 pitch mark. So you got to wonder how much longer are they going to let him go? Slider bends in for a strike. 2 and 1.
2 1 pitch is a slider taken for a called strike two. Well, that's a tough pitch bearing in on him, and he's handcuffed. He's at the belt. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Curveball got him. One away. Cairo will be the batter. He had a fly ball out his last time up. Malaska comes into the game now, Hud, as the new pitcher. Well, I tell you what, that was a great performance by this starter. I might have let him continue, but you can't fault the decision to turn to the pin here. And that's down and in for a ball. One and oh. Looking for that low inside corner, but couldn't quite pick it. Cut fastball, and it's by him. One and one. The one and one pitch. Now here's a swing and a fly ball. Ramirez is there and he has it for out number two. Well, they get him out on his front foot a little and that causes him to swing under the ball and he lofts one to the left fielder. Lofton will come up a home run his last time. Misses ball one. Well, this thing starts out in the zone, but it tails a bit too far in. Here's the 1-0 delivery. 1-0 pitch is a sinker, swung on and missed, 1-1. One and, one. and that is a tough pitch to hit. And that's cut on and missed, 1-2 and two now. Struck him out, and that is the hat trick, Rex. Mm, and take it from me, John. I had a few of those in my day. Nothing deflates the ego more. And they're gone in short order here. Time to take a stretch here in the Fens. The Red Sox lead three to two. Nixon will try to get things going here in the home half of the seven. Pretzels, don't forget your mustard pretzels. This is swung on and hit in the air, and this one is into the alleyway and should be extra bases. Well, this is how you get things started to lead off an inning. He really turns on one and gets it down for two bases. No contact strike there. One. Strike one. The 0 1 pitch is a fastball inside to even the count at one and one. The 1 1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed one and two. Well, they're trying to sneak a heater by him inside and they're successful. Trying to get him to chase the fastball away. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. Veritek will now stand in hoping to add a little bit of insurance. Extra runs are golden right now. And he takes a ball 1-0. Oh. And when that thing's down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Ready with the 1-0 -oh pitch. Man, a big hack at that one, but now it's 1-1. One Here's a swing and he pops it up. Jeter is there and he puts it away. Two down. Looked like he got him out in front that time and got him to loft the easy pop to the left side. Swings and skies this one in the air to center. Lofton gets there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. And that's about as easy as it gets for a center fielder. The Boston Red Sox pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. We'll move ahead to the eighth. Boston's out in front, three to two. Bring it, bring it. 
And this misses 1 0. And that pitcher needs to get more over the top on that pitch. The 1 0 pitch on the way. Down ball and in two. for ball two. And that's a great spot if you can get the guy to chase it. Slider oh, misses three. away, and he's behind 3 0. Lost him, ball four, so now the possible tying run is aboard. He's trying to pick up that low inside corner, but he just misses. Ball four. Rodriguez. A Rod looks at one in there for a called strike. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Good slide, and he's just able to sneak in there at second. Giambi will step in. One for two in the ball game. Now time is called. There's going to be a meeting at the mound. This is swung on and hit on the ground. Oh, and it comes up on him. Sheffield will step in with a golden opportunity to give his club the lead. Just a lousy single will probably do the trick. First pitch, a slider in there, 0 and 1. He looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0 and 2. Here's an idea, buddy. Swing the bat. Got him. And an important first out right there. Now they'll be looking for a ground ball to get him out of the jam. Well, he had an opportunity to potentially be a hero here, but he comes up empty. Now they'll need a big two-out hit to get that tying run home. He starts him off with a strike on the inside part of the plate. Nice sink to that baby right on the black. And that misses for a ball. This one's hit pretty well to deep left center. And that ball is out of here. A home run. Well, you knew they had to pitch to him here with the bases loaded, but they certainly needed to be a bit more careful than that. Yeah, that one was right there in his kill zone. And I'm sure his eyes lit up as that pitch was coming in. Williamson is going to come in to pitch here, Rex. Boston went out and got this guy for the stretch run last year. He didn't immediately take a liking to the AL, but he was awesome in the playoffs, just giving up three knocks in eight innings. Fastball swung on a miss, 0-1. Here's a slider that misses one and one. One ball, one strike, the pitch. Sharp bite to that slider. Now it's one and two. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. Posada will step in. A strikeout victim is last time. Slider in there for a called strike. And when guys are spotting their pitches out there, there ain't a whole lot you can do. There's a swing and a ground ball. Reese has it. Throws on to first, and the side is retired. The Yankees strike for four runs here and move back in front. And we'll move to the bottom of the eighth. The Yankees lead it six to three. Sinker runs way inside and almost gets him. Now the 1 0 pitch. Started to go around, but he held up in time, and it's 2 0. Yeah, don't bite at that. Make him throw strikes. Hit hard back to the mound. And that's by him into center for a base hit. 
just what they needed. They get a base hit to kick off the inning. Now they'll need to string together a couple more. No more Garcia Parra. He kicks and delivers. Swing at a high pop up off to the right. Giambi is over and he puts it away for the out. Ramirez will step in, bounce into a fielder's choice as last time. Low one outside, one ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch is a sinker in there, 1 and 1. The one and one pitch. Low one outside, two balls in the spot. The two one pitch is a changeup. Swung on and missed. Two and two. Yeah, they set up away and he swings right through it. Lifted into left center and shallow. And it drops in for a base hit. And that puts two men on here. This is still a very tight ball game. But it's going to take some excellent pitching to work out of this jam unharmed. Coming to bat, David Ortiz. Right here, official game's cap. There's a swing and a line drive. And they're not able to get to this one. It is in there. And that one is going to rattle up against the wall. Well, this will look like a screamer in the box score, but this thing's not hit particularly well. It just gets down in a spot where they can't have it. Gets down in a spot where they can't handle it. Gordon will come in and pitch. Man, it seems like I've written this guy off at least five times, but every year Gordon finds a way to keep getting guys out. And he's been at it for 15 years now. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. And he looks at a ball. One ball, one strike. Now he's set. Here's the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a ground ball. In time for the out. He put that ball on the ground is short and got the runner home. Nixon. The possible time scoring position. He's got to find a way to get him in. There's a swing and a high fly ball carrying to deep right field. Sheffield is there now and he puts it away to retire the side. The Red Sox score two on three hits and they strand a man on base. Eight innings are in the books. It's on to the ninth. The Yanks are on top, six to five. Fastball, look out. That's right at his head. There's a swing and a high pop up. Back behind second. Garcia Parra is going to get there and make the catch for the out. Well, he gets him to fish on this one. And as a result, an easy pop up to the shortstop. Kenny Lofton. Base is empty with one out. Slider too far inside, and that'll back him up a bit. Here's the 1 0 delivery. Outside, ball two. And here's a fastball for a called strike, two and one. Vavu. Now a swing and a soft liner out towards right center. And this one bounces up against the wall. Well, this is a pretty good pitch to hit, and he gets good wood on this one. Now he's in scoring position with one out. At the plate, Derek Jeter. Jeter 
Looks at one that misses for a ball. One and oh. Nice sets. Here's the one okay. Low for a ball, and it's two and oh. Good hard action that time. That's a good spot to miss. And here's a slider for a called strike. Two and one. And he's running, heading for third. The throw is there, and he is out at third. Great play. He's ready. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. This is swung on and lined softly toward center. And that's a base head as it gets down in front of him. Well, they tried to run this one in on his hands, but he stays right on this thing and shoots the ball to center field for a base hit. A Rod will be the batter. Singled his last trip to the plate. The pitch. And that's off the plate away. One and O. Oh. And this thing starts on the outer half but runs out of the zone. Liner towards the hole. And he boots it. Good throw, and they just do get him for the out. The Yankees pick up no runs on two hits, and they scrand just the one. On now to the bottom of the ninth, the Yankees lead six to five. Reese. We'll try to get things going here in the home half of the ninth. The New York Yankees are going to make a defensive change here. And there's ball one. Trying to bend one on the inner half. A little too much snap. The 1 0 pitch. Ball two. Comes back with one in there at the knees. Two and one. Cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. Get your pizza. And a ball bounced back to the mound. Gordon is up with it. And his throw gets him. One away. Veritek will step in. He popped out his last time. Rivera comes into the game now, Hud, as the new pitcher. When Rivera's healthy, he might quite simply be the best there is. His cut fastball that'll run in on your hands in the mid-90s might be the toughest pitch to hit in all of baseball. Ball one. The 1-0 pitch on the way. Strike and one. that catches the outer half for a strike. This is swung on and a liner. And that gets down for a base hit. Well, they brought in the right to make him hit from the left side of the plate, but he comes through here anyway. Kapler is going to come into the ball game now as a runner. Well, they want a little extra speed out there, so they're going to go ahead and replace this runner. Let's see if this added speed pays off. Cut fastball, swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Good location on that one, and he can't make contact. The 0 1 pitch is a cut fastball, swung on and missed. 0 2. Over to first. They almost got him that time. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time, and there are two down. Miller, with a single as last time, will be the batter. Over to first. He had to stretch out that time, but he just didn't make it. Over to first. First pitch, here it comes. Too far outside, 1 0. They throw over to first. A throw back to the bag. This one swung on and hit in the air. 
Sheffield is there, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. The Yankees are victorious in this one and have taken a two games to one lead in the series. And now the momentum is squarely behind these guys. Bernie Williams certainly wasn't alone in having a terrific game of the plate, Hud, but out of uh, all those who did well, he's most deserving of our ESPN Video Games Player of the Game. Bueno choice, mi amigo. Couple of hits in this ball game, including a big home run. No question about it. He deserves the award in this one. So that just about wraps things up from here. For my partner, Rex Hutler, and our entire ESPN crew, this is John Miller saying thanks for being with us. Once again, the final score, the Yankees win it 6-5. to five. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. So long from Boston.